Shalom, brothers and sisters. It's your brother Wild Israelite from the tribe of Issachar, from one nation, one power. Today we're just gonna look for for praise. Okay, we're gonna look for praising, and uh, you know we're gonna seek it. You know we're gonna give it to the Most High, Ahaya, Asha Ahaya, in the name of Yeshua, in the Ruach, Mukodash, which is the Holy Spirit. Okay. Um, there's some scriptures I want to get into, and then also you know we I want to start praising the Most High. Okay, it says Lamentations chapter three, verse forty. Let us search. Okay, let us search and try our ways, and turn again to the Lord. Okay. Let us search and try our ways and turn again unto the Lord. Let us lift up our heart with our hands unto the unto God, unto the heavens. Okay. Let us search and let's try our ways and turn back to the Most High. Okay. Let's go to Psalms 25 real quick. Psalms 25. Psalms 25, Psalms 25, and we will go to uh, verse 7, okay, Psalms 25, and verse 7, and it says in Psalms 25, and verse 7, Let's start with verse. Uh, let's go to start from verse uh, verse one. Okay, Psalms twenty-five and one. It says, "Unto Thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in Thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not Thy enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on Thee be ashamed." Let not them be ashamed with transgressions without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy youth, in, in thy truth. Okay? Lead me in thy truth and teach me. For thou art my God of my salvation. Okay? On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions, according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Okay. So when we're getting inside that water, when it's time for us to change, to put out that old man, that old woman, okay, we're gonna search and we're gonna try our ways, okay, you know, from us living inside the world, you know, we're always looking for answers and we go to Christ because we know that we can find rest when we find Christ, okay, we can find rest, our soul will be at peace, okay, so when we people, when we're saying rest in peace, okay, it is not saying, you know, when someone dies. When we say rest in peace, we actually rest in peace when we find Christ, okay? When we're going through all these tri these trials and these tribulations, we're seeking the Most High, Okay? We're seeking the Most High, and we know that, you know, we can find peace. When we find that peace, you know, it's through Christ. Okay, especially when we're here living here on earth. Okay, in this wicked of a world, Job 9 and 24. Okay, and also, okay, you may, you may feel like you are alone in this walk. Okay, seeking this truth, this wisdom, this knowledge. Linking the precepts together like puzzles. 
Okay? And then Christ is that missing piece. When we go to Christ, he will lead us to the fountain of waters. Okay? He will lead us to the fountain of waters in which the Most High will deliver unto us. Because as we can see, the wicked are searching for water. They are seeking for salvation. But you, you have found that everlasting water through Christ. When you have given your life to him. And when you have decided to put off that old man or that old woman. And to get inside that water. Okay. We have done these things in, in, our, in our old days. Okay. As we continue to... Um, to grow and to grow and to grow in the most side to, to uh, you know for him to increase inside of us okay we are looking for ways we are searching for ways but we don't know which way to go we have to be like Abraham okay we have to be like Abraham and that and that is the reason why is because we look at the story of Abraham, you know, the most I told him, he's like, how can I give children when I'm, when I'm old, you know? The most I says, be patient, you know, you will be a, a, a father of many nations, okay? A father of many nations. The promise, the promises, okay? They may seem like they'll be going on for thousands of years, but our ways are not the most high's ways, our thoughts are not the most high's thoughts. Okay? So when we're seeking truth, when we're seeking wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the Holy Spirit will lead us. Okay? She will lead us in truth. She will lead us back to the Father. She will lead us when, you know, we don't have a, a, a way to go. But due to our faith, due to our humbleness, we will seek the most high. See, just as sheep out there in, in the wilderness, they don't know which way to go in the dark. But when they hear the shepherd's voice, they follow that voice to the shepherd. As we are the sheep and Christ is the shepherd, he will lead us through this darkness of the world. Okay? He will lead us. But first, like I said, you know, we have to put off the old man, the old woman, when we get inside that water. Okay? We have to put it off. Okay? And when we get inside that water, okay, we have to ask forgiveness of our sins as well. Okay? And here's another one I want to show you guys. Okay? When we're also going inside the water, we have to ask forgiveness of our forefathers. Our forefathers' sins. Lamentations 5 and 7 it says, Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. Okay? Our fathers have sinned. So we, we, when we actually really want that, to touch the hem of, of the Most High's garment, we have to do these, these steps to get into the grace and the mercy of the Most High. Okay? That is the actual meaning behind the baptisms. Okay? Because if you go inside Christianity or inside, uh, you know, they're not, they're not doing the right baptisms, family. The baptisms that we actually need is to ask forgiveness of our sins. Okay? Christianity, may, they may be half right, but a lot of our people become backsliders because they say that, that Christianity says that the law is done away with. Go to Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Christ says, Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. But whoever shall do and teach them shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So here at One Nation, One Power, we're, we're doing them and we're teaching them. Okay? We're doing them and we're teaching them. We're becoming a light unto the nations. Okay? We're being wise as serpents and harmless as doves. 
we're 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 uh, forgiving our enemies. Okay, forgiving the enemies. When we when we have forgiveness in our hearts, it sets us free. Okay, For unforgiveness will lead to hatred. Hatred will lead to death. Okay. Unforgiveness leads to hatred. Hatred leads to death. Okay. And that's where you got to pray to the Most High and ask forgiveness and for Him to number your days. A lot of our people, you know, we're, they're being taken, they're, they're dying before their time is up. Okay. They're, they're just choosing the wicked over righteousness. Okay. We're not to do self-righteousness. We're doing righteousness of the Mosai. And just as you know, we're, we're teaching you guys in the order of Melchizedek. Okay. We're teaching you guys the truth. Okay. As the Mosai has led me from the very beginning of my walk from truth from John 14 and 6. He's still doing it. And I, I've learned so much. Okay. I've learned so much in just a short time. Okay, but yes, guys, when we're getting inside that water, we ask forgiveness of our sins and the sin of our foreparents. Okay, let us search, let us search and try our ways and turn again back to the Lord. Join me as we pray right now, okay. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, a righteous Father, a merciful Father, a gracious Father, a Father of respect and law, Father of all creation, we ask you in the name of Yeshaya, that you forgive us of our sins. That you turn our hearts from stone into flesh. That you help us number our days. Written in Deuteronomy chapter 30. Verse 19. Mosiah, we ask you to forgive us of our sins and the sins of our forefathers. When we... Make that time to go into the water, to become a new creation. Father, I just pray that you put a stumbling block before our enemies, those that want to persecute us, those that want to curse us, let them be cursed. Those that want to bless us, let them be blessed. Mosai, I pray that you bring together the 12 tribes of Israel as of now, as we walk in spirit and as we walk in truth. Teach us thy ways in plain. Allow us to understand thy, thy mysteries. Allow us to understand The simple things. You have put before us the precepts of, of yourself. Let us fall away from the precepts of men. The precepts of men 
have made us go back into the world, Father. They have made us go in a different direction. The same direction where the wicked are going. Father, I just pray that whoever is listening to this right now, I just pray that they have this sense of urgency to have their, their spirit, to have the, um, the armor of the Most High, the helmet of salvation, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the sword in which you give us, the gospel of the feet of preparation. Armor us up right now, Mosai, as we fight in spirit against the principalities in the darkness. And allow us to destroy the foundations of lies that are from the devil. We rebuke the devil in the name of Yeshaya. Tell that old serpent to get thee behind us. No side lead us in thy ways. Let us not be in the spirit of division, no longer. Use us to be a light unto the Gentiles. As we have the seal of the Father in our foreheads, which is the law and the testimony of Christ from water baptism of Hebrews 6, 1 and 2. Mosa, I just pray that whoever is watching this right now, Father, I just pray that if they are dealing with sickness right now, Father, I just pray that that you heal them in the name of Yeshaya. Mosai, I am not praying to be seen of men, but to pray to help heal another one, to help save a life. Someone could be thinking suicide right now and run into this video and be set free. Someone could be trapped in a religion right now, which is spiritual bondage. They could be watching this video right now and be set free. I pray that all divisions from religion and in these camps of divisions, that we all can be set free and that we all can find Christ through these times of troubles. Mosai, give us your, your spirit today. Bless us in our spirit first before you, you bless us with financial needs. Mosai, I just pray that we come together as a family in spirit and that you warn us of dangers and of troubles and so that we can know ahead of time. Mosai, I pray that this, these, these famines, these, these pestilences stay away from us, far away, Father. And that these are for the wicked. Mosai, as we continue to, to seek you, Due to our diligence, and our attention towards you, I pray that these 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 understandings don't look like fables unto us. But most I, I pray that you bring the two sticks together, and that you bring the two nations back to one nation so that we can serve you as one power. Most I lead us in thy ways of righteousness. Thank you, Most High, for everything that you've done for us. We give all praises to the Most High. 
Asher Ahaya, and the name of Yeshaya, and the Ruach Kodesh, which is the Holy Spirit. Thank you for allowing us to understand thy word. For we, not, we should not live on bread alone. For every single word that proceeds out of the, the, out of the mouth of the Most High, wherever your your words are scattered, Most High, I pray that you send the Holy Spirit to help the elders of the, of the church, the elders of the nation, to seek the truth and to deliver your message unto your people. I pray for the elders, the brothers, the sisters. I pray for the nation, Father. I pray for the Gentiles that cleave unto us. Thank you for sending those Gentiles to us, Father. For they have choose right. They have choose to listen to you. They chose to put down their gods and to serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mosai, thank you. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for sending your Holy Spirit, your, your guardian angels that protect us and that give us this light. Most I just pray that, that you keep your righteous and that you allow us to observe the Sabbath day so that there is no more death on the weekends. We know that the guardian angels that watch us over the weekdays are with us. But when the Sabbath comes around, when our people go out there and party, their guardian angels are with you observing the Sabbath day. Most I just pray that our names are written in the book of life. In the book of life, Father, we pray. Thank you for everything that you've done for us. In the name of Yeshua. Amen. So be it. I know somebody out there needed this prayer. Okay. And like I said, guys. I'm not doing this to be seen of men. I'm doing this for the will of the Father. I pray to the Father during the first time of my walk. I pray to the Father and I ask Him, send me. Send me, Father. Just as Christ asked the, the Father, send Him. I did the same thing. I will give my life for my people, my immediate family, my spiritual family. Whatever, whatever troubles, I, I will try to warn you guys the best I can, okay? I, I don't know what to say guys, but you know, I'm just, you know, thank you for praying. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you for praying for each other. But as, as, as most important, thank you for praying towards the Father. Okay. Thank you for praying towards the Father in the name of Christ, Yeshua. Okay. I love you guys. You know, I will see you guys soon. Okay. I will see you guys soon in person but right now I'm with you in the spirit every each and every single day
each and every single day I'm with you guys in the spirit. You guys are my family. Those that do of the will of the Father are to be your family. Just remember, if you are alone in this walk, like myself, there's no one out there that's close to you. Remember, you're not alone. You're not alone. Just continue to be that, that leader. Continue to be the one that follows the Mosai. Okay? We will come together as a nation. That is a promise. Okay? That is a promise. Stronger than a pinky promise. A promise in which lasts thousands of years, it seems like. You know, that, that's what it seems like for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? It seems like they've been waiting for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. In time, we will be together. Okay? In time, we will be together. Be patient. Remember, search thy ways. Pray for me too. Okay? I am not perfect, but I, I'm striving to be. I'm striving to be. Christ says, be perfect. As my Father which is in heaven is perfect. Be holy. For I am holy. I love you guys and we will see you guys soon. Okay? Love you. Have a good night.